What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing an account blah, 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 blah. Today we're going to be doing an account takeover. You may recognize the name Lady Gurgi. I did an account takeover for her in the past, trying to get her to a one key against Force Affinity. Um, we're back in her account. She needs this is a clan mate of mine and we are going to be building her a Doom Tower hard team. She progressed in hard at all. No. Okay, cool. And she, oh, thank God she didn't use any Doom Tower keys. I forgot to say that. Whew. <laughs> Looks like she had enough common sense. Or maybe she just didn't play today. Who knows? Um, okay, so right off the bat, I'm liking Vizix. This is who I use on my team. Um, HP is good. Defense is great. Great speed. We might have to sacrifice a little bit of speed for more accuracy. We need like 350 to 400 in that range for Doom Tower hard. So this is a good build. It only needs like minor tweaking. Oh, well we can just switch out the banner and we'll be good. Okay, fine, that's great. Um, let's see, so I like Vizix. We need one more crowd control champion. No, okay, we want like a provoke or a freeze or a stun, ideally. What's the percentage chance? 70% chance on a six turn cooldown, that's not that's not gonna work for us. It needs to be like three turn or four turn. Ninja can do crowd control. He is booked. Okay, we're getting somewhere. He has some gear on. Uh crit rate speed is a little low. So is the accuracy. We might end up going with ninja. Oh, Nethril. He's not booked either, though. He's got two. The stun is only a 75% chance. And this is only 75% turn meter. Um, He's not bad. Oh, he's not booked either. Does she have books? CBC is in like three days, so I don't want to use her books. I just want to see if she has them. Okay, so she can book someone if she needs to. He's not booked... Hmm. Siler's not bad. Hmm. Okay, let me just tinker around with it and see what I can do. Um This is this is my method. I I just just easier for me to just figure things out if I can see it. We definitely want physics. No, we also need a speed champion. Um, so I thought she had a Lady Kimmy and a Nekmothar. Both are great options. Deacon's not bad either. So her Kimmy is booked. A little on the slow side for the speed champion. Let's look at Nekmothar's build. She's very attached to her Arbiter, I know. So she, I know she won't want to steal to make. So again, it's, we want the speed champion to be like 300. Okay. Let's, I'm going to work on building Kimmy since she is booked and Nekmothar is not. Both viable options. Um, I like Kimmy's 30 speed aura for Doom Tower. So we're like one accuracy shy, like eight. This is probably good enough for Doom Tower. So we'll go ahead and equip these. So our speed champion is done. Uh, okay, let's go back into Doom Tower real quick. Now we find our Lady Kimmy. We'll use her as our aura lead because it's the best Doom Tower speed lead in the game. Okay, so our second 
crowd control champion. I think we're settling on ninja. Okay, so now let's make sure we want him to be at least 200 speed or faster, and we need at least 200, sorry, 350 accuracy. Okay. So first off, okay, we're at a good start there. Good. That's fine. That's good. Don't mind him in crit rate, crit, or sorry, attack and crit damage. Um, I might go crit rate instead of crit damage and then focus more on speed and accuracy so we can get to the right numbers because he's a little slow and not enough accuracy to land his debuffs. So, because we, we really need him to land the freeze. So maybe we search, but we still don't mind him doing damage. So we'll go crit rate gloves, substats, speed, and accuracy. This is looking a little better. So she's still got 100% crit rate. Uh, plenty of accuracy to go all the way up to floor 120. And lots of speed to keep moving fast, which is important because his crowd control is on a four turn cooldown. Okay, so this will be ninja build. So we have our two crowd control champions. Um, for, he also does HP burns, but not on a big scale like an a full on AOE. He's only three HP burns, and his one of his HP burns could hit the same target twice, which would be less damage overall. So we still want an HP burner. I'm thinking Venus, because she's void, we don't have to worry about weak hits. And she also brings decreased defense and weaken and poisons. Um, I think Venus is the way to go here. So we're going to bring Venus in as our secondary damage dealer. So we kind of like one and a half here. Um, now what do we need? What else am I missing? Oh, support, like uh, healing and reviving. So since this is on a four turn cooldown and he has the potential to weak hit, I think it would be prudent to bring in a support champion. My initial thought was Syl, but with Syl we don't have block debuffs. So it's maybe Brogany. Let's go to champions and let's put gear back on Venus. Um, she could use Cupidus too, just for more raw damage. And he also does HP burns. Yeah, here. And he's just gonna smack hard, but we kinda already have ninja for good damage. And uh, I would have to kinda completely rebuild him. So he does, you know, so he actually gets to, oh, I guess he'd be counterattacking all the time. Actually. might be better than who would we bring instead of I guess if no if he was on a stun set maybe but we need the crowd controlled ninja okay so let's get her in a new chest piece let's uh let me see what this looks like yeah I think that's a good build Defense is a little low, but still plenty of HP, plenty fast, good enough accuracy. All right, let's do that. So we'll equip that. All right, so let's do a team setup because we don't want um, crowd control abilities to be overlapping each other. They will eventually, just because one's on a three turn and one's on a four turn. But to start, um, I'll try to avoid it. Once Pythion is uh, fully built and booked, he can come in and replace Bragni for like cleanse, block debuffs, revive, etc. But I think, or you could use Scylla the Drakes. Like you have a lot of good options, and you'll kind of just need to get a feel for it. 
if, if you're stuck on a wave and it's not working, just kind of try out different things. Um, who are we missing? The Venus. Here she is. Okay, 58. All right, so we're going to tell Venus we actually want to prioritize the burn because that's going to give us more damage. Mm, it's not going to hurt to do this. Let's say it's second choice. And then we want physics to open with... I'm sorry, we'll say first choice. I guess it doesn't matter. And then we'll say ninja. We'll say open... First choice, second choice. Okay, that's better. So now they're not going to overlap, and we'll just copy that every. This will make it slightly more auto friendly. But again, there's always going to be some overlap just because one's a three turn and one's a four turn. Okay, and then Kimmy, we just want her to go first choice, increase speed and turn meter, and then second choice, decrease speed and turn meter. Um, just gonna do this. First choice, second choice, and then Brogni block debuffs would make this his first choice. Probably already his first choice by default, but just in case. All right. All right, let's give that a try. And we'll label this so she knows. Unfortunately, we only have 10 keys, so I can't see if this will shoot all the way up to the top. Uh, but we should get a good feel. Just based on the stats and the team composition, I think it's going to... I think it's going to work. Obviously, I think it's going to work because I built it. But we'll get a good idea of synergies. And Oh, see, everyone's a little bit too fast. The crowd controls are overlapping a little bit there. That will be less of an issue the higher into Doom Tower you get because the enemies just naturally get faster. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. One provoke got resisted. It's okay. We got the freeze, but everybody's so fast in this team that we're just cycling through the abilities so quick. <laughs> Dude, Brogny's no joke. He's slapping pretty hard, man. Hopefully we can get a provoke here. We got Brogni shield. That's the next best thing. And then Brogni should extend the shield with his A2. Dang, dude. I really wanted Brogni. <laughs> cool. Easy peasy. Oof. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check the sill of the Drake's build. Where'd she be? Oh. Oh, high resist. Maybe this is an arena build? Let me check and make sure. That's good defense and HP, though. Let me check and see if this was one of the champions she didn't want me to touch. Okay, she's not marked. Okay, let's, let's work on Sil. Let's see if we can get her... And a good Doom Tower build. Defense and HP, huh? Let's try this on. Try that on. That kind of puts us right where we need to be. Okay, let's do that. And we'll want to upgrade the defense to 16. Oh, we got HP on the end. That's nice. 
Okay, and then maybe we can get some more speed or accuracy. Speed would be more preferable. Eh, attack percentage, whatever. We'll upgrade the defense here. HP, nice. And HP here. With defense, cool. All right, so let's look at the final build. Plenty of accuracy, plenty of speed. Uh, I'd like the defense to be higher. Roll this up and then we'll do some glyphing. Nice. Nice. I might do the HP too, just to be safe. Actually, I'm gonna see if I could find some speed boots with defense percentage in the substats. And maybe in this set, we don't really need that. The nice triple resist roll with a max glyph being wasted on a build that no longer has resistance in it probably take that off okay do we have defense set no try on and then maybe See if we can find it. Puts the final build. Okay, we'll just we'll keep glyphing and then see what it looks like at the end. Seven fifty. Ooh, ooh, oh, mama. Okay, uh, let's look at the build now. Sixty k HP. This is looking a lot better. Okay, I'm content with this build. All right, and now we'll just uh, make sure that she is going to do her CC on the opener. Just in case Ninja Week hits, she can uh, sort of back him up. And this will sort of alternate with Vizix's provoke uh, back and forth a little bit better because they're both on three turn cooldowns. All right, let's try this again. Uh, they both weak hit that one in the front. So yeah, this that's it. again that's exactly why I really like Yakarl the Scourge. He just you don't have to worry about weak hits. Turn meters are always super high because the enemies in Doom Tower are so fast that the condition on his A3 AoE freeze is uh, more often than not met, and he lands the freeze and it can't be resisted. And then he can just lock down with his A2 and his A1. He's just very versatile crowd control champion all right wait no reward what did i already beat this level i must have already beaten that level this one's in the bag um this might just be a, a case of fighting war chief why she's so low but that could be something to look into in the future if you find that your your physics is consistently dying due to not enough heals, you can consider putting her in a regen set if you can get the right stats. Um, yeah. 
It's very helpful. Oh, crap. Uh, more to... Stunned. Okay, good. I can't take it off auto either, so I'm kind of just at the mercy of the AI. Okay, provoke. Good. Let's focus him while he's crowd controlled and he can't peril. I like how they freeze, like his wings are stuck like that now. It's cool. Good. Crisis averted. Boom. Okay, so let's look at uh, Vizix's build. See if we can. Yeah. It's going to be a little tricky. Her, her accuracy is a little low anyway, so we kind of needed to improve the build. Ah, he's got. But we lose. Oh no, okay. So if we did. that we're getting closer and then I can probably glyph accuracy I think we're gonna do this and then glyph maybe we hit accuracy when we take these to 16 yes we do perfect okay where's I guess we can glyph speed on this as well oh mama What are the masteries? Oh. I didn't realize she didn't have masteries done. Uh, you can probably take Eagle Eye when you're finished with the masteries for another 50 accuracy. And then focus less on accuracy and more on speed and get her speed back up kind of to where it was. Like these are really great for speed. Maybe you have some Where'd your, here it is. She had pieces with like, see this has, oh, it's less speed than what you got. Oh, it was the gloves, right? What was her attack percentage? Okay, maybe not. All right, never mind. forget what I said. A little shield. Maybe you got a shield with a lot of speed. Like, oh, one more speed. Okay. Well, that's one more speed on Glyph. Because he lose all that HP. But you get what I'm saying. If you farm up some really fast regen gear and get some good speed rolls, you can consider swapping some of those pieces out for ones with less accuracy and take the Eagle Eye Mastery when you get down to, uh, get down to here. That's something you can do. Something to think about. Cool. But for now, this is the build we're going to go with. Oh, trying to. Oh no. Yikes. Alt hand just smashing. That decreased defense is just killing. Vizix there. I think we'll be okay. We're we're stabilizing a bit. If Ninja can get his freeze here, we'll be. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> well. Whoops. Oh. Good, good, good. Sills doing work with those stuns, baby. There we go. Now Ninja can get that freeze. Maybe? Yes. We're stable now. And then hopefully Vizix comes up next. Good job, Sill. Probably should have got Vizix before Ninja, but... I think that's affected by team order. Maybe not. Let me look at the team order. She went... Ninja, Vizix, and then Venus. So I'm going to look at the team order and see if that affected it. 
because when Kimmy dies, she always revives Kimmy first. And Kimmy's in the lead spot. So I'm, I think I want to make sure that Vizix is the highest in the team order after Kimmy. Because I think just her crowd controls being on a shorter cooldown. Yes. Okay, so... Um, we want Vizix to be the highest priority. And then Ninja. Sorry, Sam. My clanmates will get that joke. Assuming they even watch this. Meep! Our timing on the Ability cooldowns got thrown off a little bit. We might have to manual this one just to make sure that we have our crowd control up for the final wave. Not manual, but like not do auto climb and then just take it off auto. Maybe. We'll see. We might be able to get through this still. Mm. Okay. Let's just, instead of auto climb, we're just going to just do a regular. And then when everyone's almost dead, we're going to take it off auto. You might have to do this from time to time with this style of team just to make sure your uh, crowd control abilities don't go on cooldown as the enemy dies and you have them up for the next wave. It's very important. So these, these style of teams are fragile in that regard, I guess. But, you know, sometimes that's just what you had to do to beat Doom Tower hard. That's just the way it goes. Okay. Um... There's no crowd controls out currently, so I'll use this one since it's... I uh, didn't do anything. Okay. I think... There'll be enough time for that to come back off cooldown. Okay, they'll put it back on auto, let them do their thing. And we'll get ready to take off auto once they're getting low. Once we get down to two enemies, I'll... Okay. Alright. Alright. I think you guys get the idea. Yeah, I'll go ahead and finish these. Cool. Pretty easy. All right. We finished all the all the waves. And I'll let her deal with Bommel on her own. That's a different video for a different day. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, happy raiding.